Hello and welcome back to my channel. Well, it's me, Sean, the Deep Sea Man, and today this is the gas channel sensor. This is the connector, so there are no cables, no connections, no screws, no nuts, no bolts. It's just a quick connector to connect one side. That's pretty simple. And this side is very, very important. This is where most people can and do get it wrong. Remember, this goes onto the gas block, and it is again the gas channel pressure sensor. It does not give you an exact pressure reading but a reference reading and this needs to seal 100% otherwise your gas curves will be wavy you will get wrong readings you can get gas strips also so the sealing part as you see here this flat surface that's here and this taper part that's at the tip so that's very important and in between this there is a small a small bore that leads to the gas detection bores and eventually to the double wall pipe and out to the vent so any leaks here by this sealing face will go into that bore and out into the vent. So in case you face the leaks, a few things when you take off the sensor, you can also tighten the sensor. So the right procedure, install the sensor and tighten it is we need to hold this nut right here. This is the hex nut which, which we need to hold. And this here is the locking nut. Remember this lock nut has a red soft seal, a red Teflon seal right here, PTFE seal. When this is locked onto the gas block, any leaks because of this seal will not come out into the engine room because that's explosive gas. The leaks will go through this bore into the sensing bores where we can detect and check it from the B and D ports, the block and detect ports, and then into the double wall pipe and out into the atmosphere. So the right way, loosen the lock nut all the way out in this way. This is 30 and this is 19. Once it's all the way out, then you hold your spanner here and tighten this all the way. And remember when you tighten this, this is connected so you need to rotate the wiring as well so that there's no twist in the cable tighten it all the way once it's fully flushed at that end you crack it a little bit more once it's tight then you screw in the lock nut and you complete the seal that's on the gas block something like this let's dive in and look at the cross section let's go to my ipad now well, so as we can see right here so this is the gas block with your gas channel sensor that's installed right there the orange one is your gas channel sensor so when you need to install the sensor loosen the lock nut all the way out after that tighten number one so that this sealing face metal to metal contact uh, seats together once that is done then you tighten the lock nut and it has this red seal right here this red seal will prevent the gas if any leak from there from coming in to the engine room we will have the leak just going into the gas detection bore to the vent and remember while installing or removing the sensor this cable has to be twisted along with its connector so there are times that you will have leak from here the location is d4 for the gas channel leak definitely there's some leak from here that's giving you you know a wavy graph on your cylinder scope okay so enough of seeing things just theoretically let's go down to the engine and we will install it on the engine and there's a surprise right there for you i have an endoscopic camera that we can put in and see the bore see this fitting see the female part on the gas block where that receives this particular sensor and we see also the sensing bore with the help of that endoscope All right so my phone connected to the endoscope and we are inserting it into the bore for this gas channel pressure sensor so that's what we can see the ceiling face looks pretty good right now and ready to install the new one remember the system is inverted and we have tested for 08c yes and do remember this item very very rarely will fail in case you get a fault in this gas channel pressure pressure sensor the first thing that you do is loosen the lock nut on the gas block tighten this a little bit more because sometimes it can get loose tighten this a little bit more and put back if it still doesn't get resolved once you stop your engine you pull out the sensor there may be a bit of oil inside this because the sealing oil leaks off so just blow off and clean this oil very carefully then install it back remember the right way but again before putting it back have a look at the bore i'd suggest that you get an endoscopic camera yourself that you can connect to your phone if not just put your flashlight have a look clean at the board and they have a tool to clear off the bore and make sure these faces are perfectly mating so now let's look at the tool on the spare cylinder head that's the tool with the taper surface and its guide. So you screw the guide all the way in and then you can lap it like you normally do. Okay, this sensor, $6,500 and with about a three or four month waiting time. Remember, it's not Amazon, not your papa shop, neither it's mine. So take care, bye-bye and stay safe.